Hello and welcome to the next video in the Inventor Tips and Tricks Tutorials playlist. This one is going to solve a problem you might have never had. Uh, or you might have right now, that's why you found the video, or you might have it in the future, I don't know. But what I've got here is a drawing which I've expended zero effort in doing, but for all intents and purposes this is a drawing with loads of dimensions on it and loads of views. What I want to do is create a brand new drawing and a brand new design. So currently I have NC1234, the drawing referencing NC1234, the assembly. Let's just save this and shut this down. So I'm going to open up the original assembly, NC1234. There it is. Okay. We're going to do a save as on this and we're going to call this new assembly NC5678. Okay. So there's my new assembly. Great. I'm then going to swap out this bottom half. This is basically the only change really. It's going to be the exact same assembly, but I'm going to replace this bottom half with a accumulator vessel with longer legs. So it's effectively the same assembly, but we've just got sort of longer legs at the bottom. So we're going to save that and shut this down. Okay, so we've now got a new assembly. So I'm going to take a copy of the drawing. And I'm going to copy that there. And you, you might sort of see where I'm going with this now, but I'm going to rename this drawing NC5678. Open up NC5678 drawing. Ruck roll. <laughs> it's, it's referencing the old assembly, NC1234. So apologies if you know what you would do at this point, but... Uh, the, the guy who sort of came to me at this point was like, well, what do I do? I don't really want to draft this entire drone again, because his drone was muggle. It had tons of views in it. It had hundreds of dimensions all over the place. And he was like, look, if I, if I draft this again, it's going to take hours. Is there any way I can do? What, what can I do to sort of to get rid of it? Yeah, so this is what I'm getting at. So, in, no, you don't want to draft it again. You don't want to delete the views and read annotate everything. That would take ages. So, along the top of your inventor panel bar, in the drawing the environment, the drawing mode, go to envir not environments, go to the manage tab and you've got this little butte of a button here called replace model reference, select that. This lists all the parts and assemblies that your drone's referencing. Click this, well click the one that you want to swap out, then press the select new model button, thank you Waterdesk for having the nice tooltip, and select your new assembly. So this drone here, we want to reference the NC5678 assembly, press OK. Inventor then gives you the disclaimer. By the way, if you know if this is new assembly you're putting in is completely different, it's different orientations, all that sort of thing, the whole thing could go pop. So it's just a disclaimer. Say yes, I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. Click OK. Oh, look at that. So it swaps out the old assembly, puts the new one in. All dimensions that are currently on the drawing will be respected if the parts that they're, they're kind of associated to still exist. So if this part here was gone, that dimension would kind of go pink, I guess, and would complain and cry but it's not it's still there all the dimensions update and you've just saved yourself a ton of work or you've st or, or or you've done the work and it took you all afternoon and, but you would you know you went down the pub i don't know whatever but yeah that's that's it really so we've got the replace model reference button here this gives you a list of all the parts and assemblies your drawings referencing you can click it and swap it out with a new model and that's my tip and or trick thank you yeah. So if you like that, please press the thumbs up button. Uh, if you found it useful, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. And until next time, see ya.